Good morning from Washington. Uh, right now, I am at a little truck stop. Um, I just wanted to hit the road first before I started vlogging. Uh, today, today is gonna be a pretty awesome day. Um, I'm gonna meet up with this guy, Dylan, who makes, in my opinion, some of the best mini documentaries on YouTube. Uh, Dylan is also a van lifer and uh, came across his videos and hit him up and surprise surprise he was nice enough to uh, respond back and uh, agree to uh, to do a little video with me so I'm super stoked about this you guys definitely got to go check out his channel I'll link it down below um, just a quick little update uh, I've taken a few days off I had a little procedure so um, still a little sore from that and uh, just been kind of um, relaxing up at my aunt's house and hanging out with my nephew and stuff, uh, doing errands. Um, I did get uh, some things for the shower, which is super exciting. We'll jump into the install later in the week, but I uh, just want to update you. This is my plan, and uh, we got. It looks like we got have another collab later in the week or early next week. So I'm just gonna try and relax, get better, and then shoot up to uh, Vancouver, Canada for that one. Let's hit the road. guys here we are we are uh, meeting up at a uh, truck stop and then uh, we are heading out to a state park somewhere yo man How's it going, dude? what's going on <laughs> all right guys we just met up we me and you just met up with uh, Dylan and uh, we How's got some going? bad lighting right now but <laughs> There we go. This guy knows his lighting. <laughs> so um, Dylan is the, uh, the captain of this awesome van over here. I, like I said before, I'll put some links down below, but Dylan is, um, well, you could tell us about yourself, I suppose. I'm a, a short documentary filmmaker is what I would consider myself, I guess. Uh, an independent artist, whatever you want to say. Like, I work for myself and I work on YouTube and I make videos for a living, so that's what I do. And I live in a van. Yeah. <laughs> and his videos are super awesome. I was just thanking him for the opportunity for um, me to be in one of his videos, and because uh, they're super high quality and they're 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 awesome. So you guys got to go check them out. Cool. All right. Let's so we're gonna hit the road up to State Park somewhere. Yep. All right. I'll follow you. By the way guys, I do feel a little bit out of it today, um, probably from the medication. Um, I was having a little pain, couldn't sleep that well last night, so took a couple uh, painkillers and ugh, dealing with the aftermath. It's like a double-edged sword. You want to sleep and you want to feel alright, you want to be pain-free, but at the same time you have to process all the toxins from the medicine the next day and uh, didn't sleep as much as I wanted to. So, <laughs> if I feel kind of out of it, that's why. Well, you know you're in the country when... That's right, when a tractor drives by. There we go, that sign says we are entering Capitol State Park. So, uh, funny right on the state line is <laughs> like all of a sudden there's a bunch of big trees I guess they uh, cut them down outside the uh, state park so it's kind of like a little little oasis out here all right guys so we found a little uh, parking spot somewhere in the uh, state park here and uh, this is a little behind the scenes in case you guys wonder what exactly goes into one of Dylan's videos He's got a nice little DSLR setup over there. He's got a little audio contraption. And of course, he's got that sweet van of his right over there, which after, uh, after we do some chit chat, 
we'll get a full tour from them. So guys, when your uh, vehicle is also your house and you forget to uh, bring all the chairs, you just create a chair. <laughs> so this is setup we got right now. I'm all mic'd up myself. I've been up, mic'd up in quite a while and uh, we were gonna begin. All right, so we finished up the uh, interview portion of uh, the, the filming here of the documentary and uh, round two, Looks like he's got a nice little shoulder rig there. We still got uh, the wireless lav hooked up. We're gonna jump outside and inside and uh, see what kind of magic can happen. We're gonna do exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, just finished up a couple parts of the interview. Uh, as you can see, we got Dylan back there. <laughs> We're gonna look for a little place to uh, do a little skateboarding. Uh, he's already flown the drone a little bit. And uh, once his part of the project is done, I promise, <laughs> I promise we'll do a tour of his rig. See that, guys? That is a little road rash. What you didn't see, and what he didn't see either, is that I bit the dust. First time in a couple years, but you know, that's what happens. I would say we had a, I don't know, almost like Gilligan's Island, a three hour tour. I think it was about three or four hours or something. Yeah, huh? it, was a while. it was. So everybody again, meet Dylan. Uh, Magaster, right? Magaster. Magaster, all right, thank you. And uh, aside from also being a van lifer, Dylan does these awesome documentaries, which maybe you guys have already seen. If not, you guys need to get over to his channel for sure. There's some of the best mini documentaries uh, I've ever seen, and, and probably my favorite as far as like van life and alternative living and stuff like that. So if we could get, get a quick little tour of uh, your van, that would be pretty sick. Yeah, well, thanks for the kind words. This is Gladys, she's a 1994 Chevy G20. Um, I bought her with 65,000 miles. Now she has like 85 or 86,000 miles. I uh, bought her in Maine. We're in Washington right now, driving her coast to coast, driving her up to Alaska. Um, whenever I bought her, there was a wheelchair lift right here, took up all this space. And then there was one chair in the back and the rest was open. Um, had the regular 1994 side paneling on it, all that. Took all of that out and then built this out cost about three and a half grand. Uh, it took me just over a month to build and added a swivel seat. I've got 200 watts of solar, 200 amp hour battery bank, a gallon of propane for cooking lasts me about three months. Uh, the solar runs the fridge, charges my camera batteries and laptop and then I've got seven and a half gallons so I can go off grid completely for about a week at a time. And I average about 16 miles to the gallon. That's pretty good mileage. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> and uh, we were talking a little bit, but could you give me a brief rundown of how you got to doing mini docs on YouTube? Yeah, so I've been on YouTube. I've been creating YouTube videos since November of 2013. Um, I've gone through about five different channel iterations and it took me uh, two and a half years before I found a channel that stuck and that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, Sweet. so it just trial and error until I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about the bed situation and and tell me about the the comforts of, of living in a van life or maybe not the com comforts, you know. So the bed, I've got three cushions. It's a shredded memory foam made of myself. My aunt, my lovely Aunt Carol, sewed the cushions for me. Um, that was nice of her to do. And so there's three of them. I did that because it sets up into a couch and then I also have compartments under this first section here so that I can get all the, to all of those, I needed three separate cushions. Um, they work all right. I'm working on figuring out how to redo them because after nine months they've been beaten down and they're kind of squished. 
Um, so I'm figuring that out, but I also sleep in a hammock. Um, and yeah, comforts and discomforts of living in a van. Definitely, uh, it's, it's hard sometimes being in such a small space. It's like a little cave. Um, and not being able to stand is kind of a pain, but it works out. Like, I wouldn't be able to live my life without this van. Live my life the way I do without this van. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, who knows? Hopefully in the relatively near future, I'll upgrade my van, but that's all due to be determined. What's the pooper situation like? Uh, I use public bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I did that for the first few months, and I gotta say, it's really easy. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, I don't really have space in here for a toilet anyway. Mm -hmm. And in such a small space, I don't know if I would want one. Mm -hmm. um, working on figuring out an outdoor sh shower situation. Plan on getting like a camp shower, but um, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Would you be able to do what you're currently doing if you still had an apartment? Um, I've never signed a lease before, so probably not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does saving money by not paying rent factor into your lifestyle? Yeah, so um, whenever I got into a van, I was making like zero dollars. And so living as cheaply as possible was definitely a necessity. Now I, um, I make enough to survive I make a living and living in a van has made that like way more achievable because you know opposed to if you're living in an apartment maybe you need like four or five thousand dollars coming in a month whenever I was living in a van that base is much lower and so the whole um, financial stability of it comes a lot quicker and it's easier to um, get there because you need less money what kind of advice would you give a first-timer? Um, advice to a first-time van lifer? Well, it all depends on like what they're doing. If they're moving around a lot, then definitely make sure you have money saved or you know how you're going to be making money because it's a total pain in the butt whenever you end up someplace and you realize you have no money, no job, and no potential for money. That's a bad place. I've been there. Don't. I mean, sometimes you need to get there in order to get where you need to go, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. So having like the finances figured out, if you're staying in one spot, it's much easier because you can just like have a steady job and then you're just saving money. Um, but uh, if you're traveling, try not to be a complete loner because that sucks whenever you just by yourself all the time. Try to like hang out with people and you know, like if you're an introverted person, be sure to push yourself to be more extroverted otherwise you'll spend all of your time alone and that leads to bad places so don't do that um, but if you're in a city once again it's just like normal life just you're in a van instead of an apartment do you find yourself being outdoors more like actively doing things yeah I would say definitely more than in an apartment less than I'd like but more than in an, in an apartment for sure yeah yeah you really you don't have a living room to just crash on and you know place to like put all your dirty clothes and yeah. three days later you emerge you're <laughs> you're here yeah <laughs> I, you can definitely lounge in here though I've, I've done some some lounge sessions watch some Netflix you know going through Breaking Bad again so <laughs> you know for the second time <laughs> nice sweet thanks dude uh, today's been awesome I just want to say great. thank you again um, really we should let his videos do the talking because they are phenomenal like I said I'll link them below and I can't wait to see what he comes up with with my interview and I definitely share a lot of things which I haven't shared before in my videos so hopefully it adds to the video so yeah, thanks for coming around thanks for having me man it's been fun <laughs> later Dylan Peace. that was the vlog goodbye <laughs> we already hugged it out Nice road rash right there. That's now in focus. Looking pretty gnarly. My palms, you can't really tell, but they really hurt. Um, they're super uh, red. It's having a hard time focusing. There we go. 
Is that better? There we go. Um, I feel a little beat up. And uh, so I'm gonna go inside and uh, eat some dinner and maybe take an Advil or something. So uh, I'm still uh, pretty sore <laughs> besides this for my little uh, doctor's appointment. So um, I think I'm gonna take a few days off, uh, recoup a little bit, and then we'll start to play around with the shower. The uh, tank, uh, water tank should be here today. The propane tank is back in that box right there. Uh, I took it out of the vehicle before I left. You can see the far left side, uh, some mounting brackets. And then uh, we'll have a little fun and do a little install. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.